Here is the Razer Core X eGPU. I've used this for about a year. I bought it for about $300 and I have it hooked into my laptop. I looked into a couple of mods. There's not a whole lot out there. And looking around the internet, I see a couple people have modded it, putting in their own power supply unit, doing liquid cooling and things like that. I think we can fit a computer into this thing that's about the size of a boot. I want to build a small form factor computer inside of this existing enclosure and I think it's quite perfect for it. I started taking it apart. Taking it apart requires the Phillips head screwdriver to unscrew the fan and these things are locked down tight. They got a bunch of thread locker on them. Also, you need Torx 10 or a T10 head to remove the multitude of screws that are on this case. So here is all the goods that is gonna be stuffed into this eGPU enclosure. Going with the mini ITX motherboard. I think it's about a generation behind. It was really cheap. Uh, Risen 7 2700X, that was cheap. Uh, Vengeance low profile RAM, low profile CPU cooler. Went with a Western Digital Black M.2. I don't know, this is kind of my first time buying that. Uh, SF450 power supply. It's very small and fits nicely into the board. I didn't spend too much on this. I wanted something that will just keep me going. And I wasn't willing to break the bank on my first small form factor build ever. I'm not a huge gamer. I just needed something to get the project going. Fortunately, I have the luxury of living near a micro center and a micro center is great because their prices are actually sometimes or for me It was all better than Amazon and what Newegg had to offer and it was right there You didn't have to wait for shipping And, and I just went and picked my parts There was a few things I had to pick up on Amazon which through Prime it, it arrived the next day All in all I ended up spending a little over $400 for all this It's not bad. This thing comes loaded with RGB out of the box, which is cool, but it really wasn't what I was going for, but it's nice. Unfortunately, the motherboard did crap out on me. Had to run back to Micro Center, but we got that squared away. I decided to wire an arcade button as the power button. I really like arcade games. So the best part about this case is the pullout method. The fact you get a uh, just grab the handle and yank all your components out if you need to swap them out. It's very very convenient uh, So I feel very fortunate because it works every time other guys probably aren't so lucky I just love the way this thing looks on my desk. It's small. It's out of the way It doesn't make a whole lot of noise But it does emit a little bit of heat with all those components in there. It's gonna that's gonna happen uh, I want to say idling around 50 a little bit uncomfortably high I might need to repaste the CPU it, it, it smokes a little bit when I and there's really these are really bright oh, but uh, you can see how crammed it is in there I made sure to try and get all the wiring below there's a lot of cable management Nazis out there and I, I hate to be called out by them it's annoying as shit I ended up uh, mounting a small red button for the power button this time just I don't know easier to man work with just for, for the time being but I really do I want to get this illuminated arcade button to work. And, or if I could get this plunger, this player one plunger to work, to do something. I think that'd be kind of cool. And it'd probably just sit right in there. Actually, that's where the video card goes. Never mind. So to give you the actual size of this thing, again, this is like a full 1080p gaming PC that's less than 15 inches long, uh, about 7 inches wide, and I think 9 inches tall. Yeah. So, it, I mean, it fits really nicely on the desk. I don't think it's home theater PC quality, but uh, yeah, just look at that. It's smaller than my keyboard. So far, so good. I think we just need some small tweaks. So this was just part one of my build. I, it took me about a weekend. I've had so much fun with this project. The last couple steps are just mounting everything, getting everything on brackets and cranked down tight, uh, maybe doing a little bit more cable management, and of course, getting the front panel buttons wired into the motherboard. Thank you.